Hi guys and welcome to Drive Spark. I'm Promit and in today's video we are going to tell you about the first ever electric Royal Enfield which is the Flying Flea C6. So Royal Enfield has just unveiled the Flying Flea in the Indian market and this motorcycle is expected to launch sometime next year that is 2026. However, we have very less information about this motorcycle but whatever information we have we will be sharing it to you via this video. So first things first have you ever thought that a royal enfield could be lightweight how light are we talking about we are talking about almost 110 kgs yeah you heard me right 110 kgs will be the weight of the flying flea and how have they achieved it well if you see the overall uh, frame of the motorcycle they have used uh, forged aluminium and also lightweight materials like magnesium in the wheels and aluminium so overall the weight has come down and if we talk about the battery pack, as I mentioned, there is magnesium being used in the battery pack, which will keep the optimum battery running temperature and help it cool down as well. Well, if you see at the front, you also get these girder forks at the front, which was used by the original Flying Flea bikes back in the 1930s, 40s or 50s. And you get 19 inch front wheels, same for the back, you get 19 inch rear wheels also. And the wheels are also made up of lightweight material to obviously save on weight. Well, the original Flying Flea was uh, used in the World Wars where the motorcycle was essentially dropped from a plane uh, via parachute and uh, because of the light weight, it could easily come down and then uh, soldiers uh, used to use it on the field and it, this was on the go. So, I mean, the plane used to come, they used to drop the motorcycle, soldiers used to pick them up, detach the parachute and they left for wherever they were going. Now, if we talk about the motor output, now we obviously don't know about a lot of information like the motor output, the power, the BHP. But if we talk about the motor output, it could be somewhere between 10 to 12 PS of power, considering that it has a top speed of about 100 kilometers uh, uh, per hour. And if we talk about the range of the motorcycle, well, uh, realistically, 100 to 120 kilometers on a single charge is what you can expect. Well, this is a belt driven motorcycle. As you can see, you also have a belt and this also has riding modes along with traction modes on this. So if you see the seat of the motorcycle, well, the seat is obviously it's a single seat uh, motorcycle, but you can also get an accessorized rear seat from Royal Enfield. So if you want to take a pillion also, you can easily take a pillion. The switch gear quality is really nice. The cluster is a touch based cluster. Obviously, you have connectivity options, Bluetooth connectivity, and it also has a touch feature in it. It gets keyless entry and you can also start the bike from your phone. Obviously, you have to download the app and connect the bike uh, to your phone so you can do that and you can obviously have the key in the pocket and you can just switch it on and go uh, well you have uh, led headlights led tail lights led indicators and you also have cruise control so if you overall see the motorcycle the flying flea looks very identical to the original flying flea that was used back in the days so they have kept the originality of the original flying flea by using very light made material the same kind of a design and overall the motorcycle looks pretty fantastic Let's see when it comes to the market, what is the response and majorly this will be targeting slightly young customers because this is a pretty good looking motorcycle but who thought that Royal Enfield will go electric and they have. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to all our social media channels. I'm Prabhupada signing out. See you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, be safe and ride safe.